actually it's gonna be really cool we're gonna move and we're gonna move for a few different places so we want to go south a little bit go to an island that's supposedly really really beautiful and then from there we spend one or two days and we go around Ilha Bella so we can explore the other side of the island and then we come back to the other side that means we're gonna go around Ilha Bella let's go that's the plan for now <laughs> I'm Roberta and I'm Duca and after two years bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life it's finally time to start exploring so don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for a new episode You can see that Touche is coming. Touche is actually a regatta boat. Have done before the, I think twice maybe, the Cape Town Rio yeah. regatta. And they just did Hefeno last year. Yeah, Hefeno is a, a regatta that goes from Recife in the northeast of Brazil to Fernando de Noronha, that's an offshore island of Brazil. So it's a really cool offshore race. And they got there in second place. So you can check their video about it. Yeah, true. It's in Portuguese, but there is subtitles in English. In French. The problem is that the place we are going is not the correct place to go today with this wind. I mean, we should go north. We're gonna go a little bit south. Sometimes <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do and you gotta go upwind. That's just the way it is. Seems like everyone is sailing finally. Touche, Quinto Elemento, Chicama. It's always the same people. <laughs> I mean, we create the little community around here for this part of the trip at least that's gonna be the you know oh there's one more coming of course <laughs> yeah we're gonna meet him there talking with our friends that are also sailing you're talking about the wind and the speeds and everything so <laughs> it's funny the wind has changed the wind's coming and going and we needed to motor for a while and now we are sailing again This area is so beautiful, it's called Serra do Mar. Basically like the huge mountain that goes from north to south of Brazil next to the coast. And here it's really close to the ocean. It's beautiful. And it divides the rivers. It's really cool. Cat it's raining. Again. I'm not sure if in camera is as pretty as this. It's just like so green. Trying to decide where to anchor. So everyone decided to stay on the other anchorage, just right the, on the corner. Fernando is like lazy. Of course, I would do the same. He's just like, nah, I'm anchored already, so I will stay here and I'll go with my dinghy there. It's all good. So we're gonna go around and anchor right after the sandbank. And Fernando got a lot of fish. We are gonna have fish for dinner. Can wait, fresh fish is always good. Good morning! One of the reasons why we love to live on a sailboat because we can go to the water first thing in the morning. Now the day starts, we are going to Fernando's boat because I want to fill this up. Oops. This, by the way, 
it's been sitting on the boat for 23 or 24 years already and Hobert has been always curious to inflate and see if it works it's still it's gonna be a lot of work to do by mouth I'm curious to see this working I hope it, it's still good <laughs> it's going ready it's gonna sink right away <laughs> It's not bad. Fernando is gonna let Duca tattoo him. I have a client officially. <laughs> Can you hear this leaking? You think it's the valve? Yeah, for sure. I will use the outboard. She come and use. Kiwi. <laughs> Kiwi. We don't have QE, we need to paddle, or we can send Loba. Loba, Loba don't like water. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> she's like excited. Loba, Loba is the best sailboat dog ever because she don't swim. She's always clean. Dry. It smells good. Dry. <laughs> she doesn't bark. She doesn't do anything. She's Polite. just like sitting there. <laughs> well educated. She's like a human. <laughs> she's not even a dog. <laughs> What a nice day to clean up the hole, right? <laughs> yeah, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And if you have like some green stuff on the hole, that means barnacles are gonna come soon. So we need to take the green stuff off. But today it's gonna be a little bit easier. We brought this little toy from the US. Uh, this is called Blue Tree. That was, it's not sponsored, it's just a gift. So Norman gave us this as a gift to try and see if we like. This is basically a tankless diving system. So it's a, small machine that you leave floating on the water and you have like a 30 feet hose that you can breathe from so you can go 30 feet deep and it lasts for like 45 to 60 minutes each battery so we have two batteries and this one is already charged so we can just clean the hole in 60 minutes if I'm I can be quick or if I'm not quick I use the second battery and then I have two hours to clean. I would say like an hour and a half to clean the hole I think it's enough that's pretty cool because otherwise uh, it's possible, but it makes me really, really tired. I have a lot of sinusitis, so I don't breathe really well. And usually, if I keep just diving and diving and diving, in the end of the day, I'm like, oh, that complete system, even like a little flag to put on the top if you go diving on the middle of a reef, so people know that this is actually someone diving underneath this. And there is a small dry bag to leave your goodies outside of the water. It's pretty cool. But I'm curious to try. Let's put this <laughs> on the water. And there's even this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is just a safety equipment. In case this fail, you have this tank that so you can go back to the surface. This you can just get an adapter and fill up with regular uh, diving tanks. So you just connect this to the diving tank and transfer oxygen from there to here. And this is just the safety gear. We are not gonna use today because I'm not gonna go 30 feet deep. I'm just gonna be one meter under the surface. So it's no problem at all. If fails, I'll just swim back up. I'm just gonna clean the hole. That's pretty cool. Bring you good. 
good and bad news. Bad first. It's gonna take a while. Good news, this works so good. But we are in worse condition than I thought. You can see by your hair. How? I did the first, like, oh, yeah. the full bottle, just like the, the last shine of the boat. I took all the barcodes off, and now I need just to scrub with like a sponge or something. You did the worst yes. part. This helped a lot, by the way. Let's put this up. Like in a few bucks. Everywhere. What's happening? I have a client tonight. You know Fernando already? <laughs> yeah. So Fernando decided that I'm good enough to tattoo him. So we're gonna do <laughs> one, two, maybe three tattoos tonight. Just a quick disclaimer, no, this channel is not gonna be only about tattooing from now on, but every now and then you're gonna see one. So if you don't like tattooing, you can skip this part and go straight to when we go to a saltwater swimming pool next to the ocean. That was really cool. But talking about tattoos, no, we don't take tattoos as a joke as it might seem to some. Tattoo is something really serious and we don't encourage people to do that at home, of course. But as I really like the art, after I tried the first time tattooing someone, that was really awesome and I want to do it more. I want to learn more, but I'm doing my homework. A week before this video, I went to a friend's shop. A friend had been tattooing professionally for over 25 years. And I asked him, can you give me some classes? Can you teach me how to tattoo? And he's like, in order to learn how to tattoo, you need to tattoo yourself first. Because you need to have the feeling, you need to understand the needle on the skin. So he taught me how to tattoo myself. He helped me, he tattooed a little bit, I tattooed a little bit, and I learned a lot from him. I'm not saying I'm a professional already, but I know much more than my first time. And then I used this knowledge to visit a friend, a good friend that I know for close to, I don't know, 27 years maybe. He let me tattoo him, because he really likes the idea of having one of my first tattoos. And he's a really good friend that has a lot of tattoos, so the moment is more important to him than the tattoo itself. I, I could make any mistake. He even asked me to sign my name on the tattoo because he's a really good old friend. He's basically a, a huge part of my teenage years and we had so much fun together. We've been really good friends for years and that was a really cool moment. But now it's time to tattoo a new client. I mean, I'm joking. Fernando is a really good friend that been traveling with us for a while already and he's like, nope, I want to have the experience of having a tattoo in odd. I mean, he's gonna have more than one. Wait for that. Good? Let's go. Fernando has the right to drink the whisk that was on the boat. Oh, and Fernando is a doctor. He done surgeries and he knows what's a clean place. And he's like, no, that's properly done. The needles we are using are not reusable needles. Are needles that are vacuum sealed. That means once you open the vacuum, you use right away and then you just throw away. So that means a lot of people are worried that we are not doing properly. Yes, we are doing properly, we are doing carefully, and there is no way we are contaminating anyone. Me next. Fernando is in a sabbatical time in his life. Trying new experiences, like. The thing is, the boat's moving a lot. The mistakes part of the, the art. Are you ready to see? Boa, boa. Mm. <laughs> Getting better. <laughs> Thanks, Luca. And the third tattoo is coming. This is the coolest one. That's the name of his former girlfriend. He, he's not with her anymore, but that, you know, he loves her, so... No, this is the name of his dog. His dog is, uh, you know, you, you, one. the cutest one. You met already. Feminine of wolf in Portuguese. I think it hurts. Benji. Pode ser só uma linha. This one he suffered. <laughs> this one he was like, <laughs> I was like, I, I, the funny thing. The done. funny thing is that I, I couldn't help to laugh. Like I was. Like <laughs> <laughs> but I like it's okay. it. No, but I think it's the best good. one of the three. I think that that's, nice, uh, nice. that's the coolest one. It's the last one, Perfect. you know. It's the Thanks. first client that I do three tattoos in one day. <laughs> <laughs> the last one for today. Yeah, the last one now. <laughs> If I had a thousand tongues, I would sing with everyone. 
voice is like a mountain song. Oh my, oh my, oh my days. Life is wonderful. Life can be this good. Today is really special because today is Monday and the last two days this place was just full of people. Today is basically the beach and the island for ourselves. Isn't this beautiful? It's all set. You just need to sunscreen you and we are done. Done, let's go. <laughs> Not really. I, I don't think we mentioned that before, but we are right in front of the continent, so we can leave the boat on this little island and we can ding right to an amazing wave for surfing right across the channel. And I have a friend back from university, he's a local here and he's a really good surfer, so he and his wife came to the boat, we had dinner like two days ago and now we went surfing with him yesterday and that's just, we were just enjoying so much the place. I mean, we've been not filming much yeah. because it's just like, I don't know, we've just been enjoying too much. Trust me, we've been having a lot of fun. But now, let's go let's to go. the swimming pool. It's so cool. This is so, so pretty. The color of the ocean and this island together with that island is just amazing. What do you think? They say that the name here is The Islands and we thought it was just one. And yesterday I read that there is two actually because this little river divides one and the other It's one. not true. <laughs> it's what one website says there is two. The other one said the name is the island because the name is the islands but it's one island but it looks like from far away that it has three islands because it has three little hills trust me it's one island <laughs> but the name is the islands <laughs> and so, where are you going i'm going to the islands that's one island it doesn't make sense so how do you think you like the view it's amazing <laughs> Just one wave came and it's full now. We just want to say a huge thank you for all the messages we got on last week's video. Guys, thanks so much. We really, really appreciate to know that whenever we need some support, our community is there. And last week was one of these days and you guys are just awesome. We just want to let you know that we read every single one of the messages. But as we got over 3,000 messages, we could not answer them all. But we are really thankful for the support. And I guess we see you guys. Oh, no. I also want to thank for my birthday wishes. Yeah. yeah, that was my birthday last week and I, I had a lot of birthday wishes and some gifts and I just want to thank you guys are awesome. See we'll you guys see next you next week. week. See you next week. Wiki. <laughs>